how hot is this show right now? Went 3-1 and one yesterday with one rain out here in Cleveland. Those of you enjoying the Power 5 have now gone 11-2 and two overall the last three days. And those of you who made the decision to purchase my 5% max bet on Colorado plus 1.5 last night were treated to a massive win as the Rockies won that game outright. But now let's get in to today's Power 5. I'll have more on today's top selections for me and how you can get those in just a little bit. As a reminder, though, you can always smash that like button if you're in agreement with, with me on these. Diamondbacks Guardians under 7.5 is up first. This is the first game of a doubleheader today at Progressive Field, and I'm going to be in attendance. Uh, those of you who follow me on Twitter, at BrianPower underscore wins, know that somehow, some way, when I go to a game, doesn't matter the sport or team, Betting the under has yielded an incredible 19-3 and run. We have a lot of fun with this. My last in-person under was a triple-A game between Toledo and Columbus. So even minor league games getting in the action. But back to the big leagues. If my presence alone at the ballpark isn't enough to convince you to bet an under on D-backs guards, consider this. With yesterday's rain out, the starting pitching matchups for this series have changed. For the first game... Cleveland will be going with Ben. Don't call me Blake Lively. He was originally supposed to go last night. Lively's allowed two earned runs or less in four consecutive starts. Arizona, however, for this game, will now be going with Brandon Fott. Originally, it was going to be the returning Eduardo Rodriguez opposing Lively last night. Rodriguez will be going in game two. This is a traditional doubleheader. Oh, by the way, with the second game starting at 4:10. But back to Fott. He's allowed three runs or less in four of his last five starts. He's going against the Guardians lineup that has the second worst WRC plus versus righties in all of MLB since July 7th, ahead of only the White Sox. We're getting the best bullpen in the business in this one, Cleveland. With me at the ballpark, you have no alternative but to bet the under this afternoon. Number two, Astros, first five, minus 125 versus the Rangers on the money line. This is another day game. Astros team total under four and a half was one of the winners on yesterday's show. Despite scoring only four runs, the Strohs managed to defeat their Lone Star State rivals, and I think they're going to get off to another good start today. Behind Yusei Kikuchi, much was made over how much Houston gave up to get Kikuchi at the trade deadline, but he was great. In his first start here, 11 strikeouts in five and two-thirds innings. Astros really wanted this guy, and I believe Kikuchi is going to reward them again this afternoon against a Rangers lineup that managed just one hit in last night's loss. Kikuchi will be opposed by Jose Urena, who allowed seven runs his last time out. He's got a 9.82 ERA against Houston this season, four appearances. I say, you say, we all say Kikuchi first five in this one. That is Houston first five money line. Number three, Giants first five run line versus the Nationals. Another first five play here, albeit this time. We're going to lay the half run to reduce the juice. Blake Snell on the mound for San Francisco. That's the key. Last time out, he tossed a no-hitter. Now, I know the numbers for pitchers who are coming off a no-hitter aren't great. But last week on first pitch, I was undaunted. I talked about Dylan Cease of San Diego. And that I didn't care what the numbers said. Cease's form had been ridiculous, and I backed him off his no-hitter when he was facing the Dodgers. Guess what? He dominated again. Look for the same thing here with Snell, who over his last five starts has given up a grand total of two runs in 33 innings pitched. Snell has 26 strikeouts his last two starts in 15 innings. Look for Snell to pitch San Francisco to a lead after five in this one. We will lay the half run with the Giants here. Number four, Braves team total over four and a half plus 110. They are facing the Brewers, who just beat them 10-0 last night. Atlanta has not scored a single run in its last two games. Do I care? No, I do not. I think the lineup should come out more relaxed today, knowing Chris Sale is on the mound. But the real key here, guys, is Brewers starter Freddie Peralta is in the midst of decline. All his numbers are up over his last five starts. The last one was against Sale and the Braves, it just so happens. Atlanta ended up scoring six runs in that game. The last five times Peralta has started, Brew Crew opponents have scored at least five runs every time. So let's back the Braves' bats. Better price than playing the money line. Over four and a half team total in this one. Number five, Orioles, Blue Jays, under nine and a half. That is how we are rounding out the Power Five today. Yesterday on the morning wager with Mark Zinno, I said to bet the under with these two teams. Unfortunately, 
Grayson Rodriguez got scratched. So if you bet the under, that was no action unless if you, you re-bet the game. However, worth noting, the game did end up 5-2 in favor of Toronto. I look for a similar number of runs to be scored tonight north of the border. I know these teams have been going over the total a lot lately. I talked about this yesterday in the morning wager, though. Again, I don't care. I like the number here. Under 9.5 is how I'd play it, where a half run over that key number of 9. I just think Blue Jays games are due for some regression in terms of scoring. Under, it's a stinky one. Hold your nose when you bet under 9.5 in that one. Let's now recap the Power 5, shall we, for Wednesday, August 7th. One, Diamondbacks Guardians under 7.5. That is game one of the doubleheader. Two, Astros first five money line versus the Rangers. Also a day game. Three, Giants first five run line. Lay the half run versus the Nationals. Four, Braves team total over 4.5. Five, Orioles Blue Jays under nine and a half you can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below always uh love seeing that feedback and then head on over to my page wt.buzz slash bp for my top selections on wednesday not only did i cash that rare five percent play last night with the rockies plus one and a half but it was a 3-0 sweep for my clients overall i also had the padres first five run line and then the phillies who beat the dodgers Got three more plays locked and loaded for today, one of which I already gave you here. You'll have to buy the package to find out which one, plus two 4% best bets. Break out the broom again on Wednesday. If you're here in the Cleveland area, see you at the ballpark this afternoon. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Tons of exclusive sports betting content. I will see you on the Morning Wager with Mark Zinno. Until then, uh, let's catch some tickets.